The sun is shining and it is lovely weather, but I've got to do some work. So it's time to go on a couple of dog walks. And while you're here, you might as well join me. Here we go. So the plan is I've got 11 dogs and two of them are whippets who are on a double walk. Uh, Lena's in the back, she's already started barking. Uh, I'm gonna do six on this walk and six on the next. There's one. Come on then, Root. There's two. Come on then, up you get. Good girl. Before I get the dogs out, I should probably put some sunscreen on. Hang on. I'm definitely gonna have, now I've got a beard grown, if ever I decide to shave it off, I'm definitely gonna have funny tan lines under the beard. I don't know what I'm gonna do when that happens. Right, they're barking, better get them out. They're free to run, off they go. Sniffing in long grass, charging about, not quite charging about yet, but they will be in a minute. So let's do some introductions, shall we? So obviously we have Leany. Hello, Leany. Hello, Leany. Uh, she's obviously my little Jack. Then, hang on, Harper. Harper is absolutely crazy, the yellow lab. Then the black Cavapoo. Cavapoo while Harper's going for a wee. The black Cavapoo here is Rudy. Rudy decides he doesn't want to listen sometimes, don't you, Rudy? Yeah, you looked at me. Good boy, good boy. Uh, oh, hang on. Watch what's going to happen. Look what's going to come out. Oh, soaking wet, Harper. Anyway, next up, this is Luca. Luca? Good boy. Luca's a sweet boy. And then his sister Tiger over there. Hang on, where's Waffle? Waffle. Hey, you woof. Hey, you woof. So that is the gang on the first walk. Lots of, well, I say lots of different personalities. You've got Lena, who's a little bit of a, a wimp who likes to be ignored. You've got Luca, the whippet, who keeps himself to himself. You've got Tiger, the whippet, who just sort of, she also sort of does her own thing. And then the other three, Harper, who's found a tennis ball. Harper, Rudy and Waffle, they just love charging around like absolute maniacs. And I walk in a field that is, used to be a golf course, Fleming Park golf course it used to be. Now it's Fleming Park old golf course because it is not anymore. But it's ideal for, for walking around uh, with the dogs because it's now a dog field. So I see all the regulars, all the same sort of dogs and faces, which is really, really nice because you end up walking around with them. And Charlie always moans at me because I don't actually do a lot of walking sometimes. Instead, I'm just talking to everyone. Morning. Hang on, there's two. So yeah, um, sometimes, Sometimes I do not walk very far at all. And I find myself just doing one length and that's it. Because the dogs are charging around, they see all their mates. And I'm just chatting. Is Harper gonna take another dip? I think Rudy wants to. On a hot day like, there we go. On a hot day like this, they absolutely love going into the river. Is Rudy going in? No. So is being a dog walker something you might like to do? Well, let me give you the pros and cons if I can think of them off the top of my head. We should probably start with pros. It's always good to start with a good thing, right? Okay, so some pros. I get to walk outdoors every day. I'm not stuck in an office. Like what could be better, right? Brilliant, That's, hold, hold on to that thought and we'll, that might be a con later on as well. You know, I get to choose where I walk, what scenery I see. I get to see, uh, I get to see dogs every day. They're always happy most of the time uh, and they, they love seeing me. Every time I pick a dog up, they're excited to see me. They're happy to see me. 
you know, the barking, the, the excitement just to go for a walk. It's such a good feeling. That's another pro. Now, obviously I own my own business. This is my business. So if I want time off, I take time off. However, I say that, that might be another con later on. <laughs> you know, I, I, I set the rules. I'm not employed by someone. So, you know, I make my own rules to, to an extent. And it's probably good because, yeah, I think before I speak. So I wouldn't want to be getting into trouble with my boss, would I? But the only person I get into trouble in my life is normally Charlie. Uh, she always tells me off. But I think that's another, another pro, right? Now, what's good is I don't have to get up early. I don't need to get up normally till about half eight in the morning, if not sometimes later, depending on if I've got cats to feed. So I get a nice lion. How good is that, right? Now, there's a few. There are some cons, obviously. There are some cons. Now, some of the cons is, as I said for the pros, I get to walk outside every day. However, it's not always nice weather every day, is it? Because sometimes it is raining. <sighs> sometimes it is, no, it's not very often snowing. Scratch that one. Uh, sometimes it is too hot. So probably come the start of next week in the UK, we're about to experience a heat wave. Well, I've got to be really, really careful. I can't walk in open spaces like this, I've got to think about maybe having some trees, the river. Um, so it's not that comfortable to be walking in really, really hot weather. It really isn't. So you get the extremes. This is ideal, actually. This is lovely. About 23, 24 is ideal. Uh, another con. Now I said about, oh, if I don't want to work, I don't work. However, I always get this uh, horrible guilt about letting my customers down, you know, letting the dog owners down, because if I don't work, then they've got to organize some other form of, well, doggy daycare or, or, or another dog walker. And I don't want to let them down. Hold on, poo, poo stop. Honestly, their timings are awful. Um, but yes, as I was saying, when we had our honeymoon nearly six years ago, that was amazing, right? We had, we had 10 days off. But the, then, we hadn't then had a holiday for five years, proper holiday for a week plus. And we went last October to Mallorca. But it was all my fault. Charlie had the time off. She had a um, holiday to take for work. But I felt so guilty about letting my customers down. And actually, in the end, I thought, no, I've got to do it. I've got to have a holiday because you know, I end up working 365 days a year, whether it's dog walking, whether it's, it's cat sitting, whether it's boarding, uh, whether it's me being a football coach, whether I'm refereeing, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm working every day of the week and I thought, no, I deserve a holiday. And I did. And when I did, actually, um, the customers were like, you deserve it. You deserve it. And, and that, made it, that, that made me feel happy that I'm appreciated by um, by the dog owners. I, I really love that. Uh, any other cons? <sighs> the other cons is if you're self-employed, right? So financially, you're always worried, always making sure you're making enough money, making sure you've got enough money to pay your tax at the end of the year and things like that. I don't want to kind of go too deep into that because it's also got its rewards in, in the fact that I said you're your own boss, you work the hours you want, you get up, get up later, you earn more in a shorter space of time. Uh, that's also a plus. You know, I, I, I don't walk more than six. And so, you know, minus Lena obviously, because she's mine, I've got five dogs. Now I won't do the maths, but 10 pound a dog with the walk, plus drop off and pick up time. Not bad, right? So that's amazing. But, you know, do you think, is this a job that you would like to do? Is being a dog walker something that you think, yeah, I, I could see myself doing that after the sort of pros and cons that I've given you? What do you think?
I want to tell you one of the most probably annoying things I hear on a weekly basis and that is not an exaggeration. The amount of times, because I walk up to six dogs, uh, the most common thing someone will say to me is, oh, you've got your hands full. I'm trying to be sort of funny, but once you hear, it's one of those things, once you've heard it a hundred times, it's just not funny anymore. Um, and I just want to say, God, please be original. But basically, because I've got lots of dogs, they think it's hard work. And granted, yes, it can be. You never know what dogs are going to do if they're going to decide not to listen to you. But actually, when you're walking in a pack of dogs, whether it's five, normally it's five for me, if not slightly less, what you actually get is the dogs, they all stick together. All the dogs, they stay as a group. And actually it's harder when you get dogs from the outside trying to enter the group, that, that's when you cause, that's when you get problems caused. But actually, you know, all of these guys, they've just stuck together. Look, even now, even now, they're all in a little group. All right, Harper's found a smell down there. But they're all in a group together. They're, they're all mates. They've all come for a walk together. They've got no interest in going off on their own. They actually, the only hard part really on a, in a standard walk is when they are all back on the lead, ready to get back in the van because they decide to tangle up and you know they don't all walk in a straight line and you end up crisscrossing and untangling your leads. But you know, I think it's great walking as a pack. I really, really do. As long as, 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 long as it's not more than six, you're right. I think any more than six, the problem is if it's more than that, if something goes wrong with one of them, so I don't know, one of them decides to run, one of them gets hurt, you've got to have enough hands to deal with that dog plus being able to have the others on a lead or being able to manage the others. And I think any more than six, just too many. And sadly, there are some dog walkers around here that take more than six. I won't mention any names, obviously. Um, you won't know who they are. So, but there are some and it's very, very irresponsible. But I think now, I don't know why I said but, I think now it's time to get them back in the van and take them home and uh, get ready for the second walk. Plenty of water in the van, get the fan going so they're nice and cool. Get the, get the air flow through the van going before we set off. As you can see, the leads are already getting tangled up because they just don't walk in a straight line. That's Lena dropped off. On to the second walk. Uh, I've got myself an orange, only a small orange, but I can't be bothered to get anything else for breakfast. Something quite exciting. You're gonna see in a second, some scaffolding. Hang on, scaffolding, look at this. I'm gonna show you what I got. We only went and got some solar panels. Hang on, we have to go further out so you can see them. Yesterday, we got ourselves some solar panels. And this is a good day for it because the sun is more or less out bar, bar a few clouds. Uh, so no cockapoo actually. I may have misread their message. They only wanted Monday, Wednesday, and I thought it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it is Friday today. And I feel like an idiot going into their house, wondering where the dog is. Uh, but she must have taken Toby out already. I'm such a prat. Let's do the introductions for the second walk. We've still got the two whippets, they're over there. Uh, and then we've got Henri. Uh, we've got Lazy Bones Henri. Now he has to stay on the lead because he is so lazy, he would just go straight back to the van. He's an absolute nightmare. Then you've got his sister Nelly, who barks at every dog you see, don't you? And if you can hear some panting, hang on, let me try and get a view of him. Uh, Hippo, hang on. Hippo the pug. So those are the ones we've got for this second walk. I do feel bad for poor old Hippo, especially when it gets this heat. Um, uh, today it's not too bad, but if it gets worse, I've got to walk earlier, definitely find more trees. We're walking alongside the river anyway, so that is something he can use, but pugs don't really go in the, in the river too much. I'll make sure I've got drink as well, but <sighs> pugs, they suffer. They really, really suffer. And I can't, I can't really express my opinions on pugs. They are so funny. They are so loving. They've got such great characters, but we all know the health problems that they suffer from, right? 
Got to keep the vitamin C up, right? As I still haven't had COVID. And I don't, oh no. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. I was really looking forward to that orange as well. It's probably time for another dog montage. I thought it'd probably be a good idea to show you what I take on a walk with me. Now, obviously, I've got all the dog's leads, and sorry for the noise, but that's poor old Hippo. I know it's too hot, isn't it? But one of the main things I take is my bum bag, or as the Yanks call it, the fanny pack. Uh, keys, obviously my keys. I'll show you what's in it. I uh, always carry a splitter lead. In case a lead goes missing, I drop one, as because quite often these got a habit to slip down. Uh, so I've always got a splitter lead just in case. Whack that back in. Now, in this one, plenty of poo bags. Obvious reasons, right? Now, the interesting thing is, I have treats in here. Always have, always have, I've got little bone treats at the moment. I've got little treats. I don't always use them very often. Uh, I've also got a tennis ball, which I don't let the dogs have unless I drastically need their attention because I always find in a in a field like this where other dogs are walking around at the same time these can be a pain in the backside because you either get dogs fighting over them and they get guard they guard them and get aggressive or they steal each other's balls so this tennis ball is sort of a, an emergency uh, and it works quite handy what I also have I also obviously have my phone got to have your phone it's got contact details on for the dog owners, emergencies, you've got to have your phone, right? Also, as I say good for keeping track of time, I have a watch. But I always forget to use my watch to look at the time. Anyway, uh, also, I have my wallet. Now my wallet isn't for paying for things, unless I need some fuel, uh, but, hang on, what's going on there? Hang on. It's the thread. Um, but actually what it's for while I'm walking dogs is my business card. I, this is so important to have my business card because the amount of potential customers you see walking around a dog field, you've got to always have, got to always have your business cards ready. Um, what else? I normally have my headphones, but I don't have my headphones at the moment because I'm, I'm filming. But normally I'll be walking around uh, with a podcast, with an audio book or even just the radio, bit of bit of uh, Ken Bruce in the morning and then Jeremy Vine uh, after midday. And that's what I take. Oh, hang on, what else have I got? Lip balm, gotta have some lip balm. However, haven't you realized, if anyone has lip balm, why is it that when you start using lip balm, you can't stop? You have to, because I think lip balm does great, but it dries your lips out quicker. I know. You, I'm a modern man, you see. I'm a modern man. But that's what I take on a dog walk. If it's really hot, I might have some water in a, in a bottle as well. Uh, and yeah, that's 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 roughly what I take. I don't think there's anything extra that I normally normally take. I'm trying to think now. No, no. Right, we're we're going on the way back to the van now. Come on, come on, let's go. The good thing about walking in the same place is you get to see all the same people. Some nicer than others. Oops. Some nicer than others, you know. <laughs> this, one's, this one's always a bit mean to me. Uh, but she, Ali has got Shadow the Whippet. And uh, if we want to test out how fast Whippets are, we're going to do uh, a ball throw. When you're ready, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Rapid. She loves her tennis ball, right? Yep, she does. Ready, go. A quick dip in the river. It's a bit hot for these guys. Have a nice day. Right, it's home time. 
Oh, these guys are knackered by the, by the sounds of it, or at least they're breathing. But they're still going. This is, that's it. We're going home now. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you've enjoyed coming out with me. I'm not paying you though, okay? Just because you came along on my dog walk, I'm not paying you. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share to some friends, and we will catch you next time. Yeah.